Is it a big deal to have a professionally crafted profile on Upwork? A friend of mine asked me that question and it was very interesting to me. And the reason for that is I have made over $30,000 on Upwork on a job that I was invited just because the person saw my profile. So I know how important it is to make your profile very, very professional and well-crafted. If you are a client on Upwork, the first thing you will see is the profile of the individual. Now you have to know that the client does not know you. They don't know you. The only thing they know about you is your profile. So basically your profile carries your identity. You have to know one thing. Upwork is a very, very competitive platform. And because of the competition, you have to make sure you stand out among your colleagues. Even if you are not the best, but at least you are among the best people who have the most professionally crafted profile. The first thing that you have to do is to identify your niche. And this means you are going to answer two questions. Number one, what knowledge do you have? So when I say what knowledge do you have, um, I'm, I'm talking about what do you know? Like for instance, do you know how to use Excel? Do you understand how Google Drive works? Do you know Canva? Maybe you are familiar with some tools like Trilo or maybe um, Asana or Jira, whatever tools that you know how to use. So now you identify that, okay, I have knowledge in these tools. That's the first step. The second step is to determine the level of knowledge that you have in each of these tools. Let's take Excel, for instance. If you just have basic knowledge, maybe you can create a sheet, you can put basic formulas on that sheet, then you are, have an entry-level kind of knowledge, right? So you need to determine what level of knowledge do you have in these tools. Now, the next step is for you to go and research, right? Research profiles that are within your niche. So let's say you want to be a virtual assistant or maybe you want to be a data entry person. You go on Upwork, research that area, that field, look for people that have profiles that are situated with data entry and look at the way they structure their profile. So today, I am going to show you how I structured my profile and how this profile has helped me to move forward in my career. So this is what this video is about. And if you are there and you like this content, smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. I'll continue to bring some practical um, videos that can show you how you can get started. Or if you have already started, you can scale your career on Oppo. So your profile is divided into some sections. If you look at here, you will see that this is a rectangle that covers up to the bottom. It goes um, a little bit long for me because I've gotten some history there. And then you have a second rectangle like this, which talks about your testimonials. And then you have another third rectangle that talks about your certificates. And then you have employment history rectangle. And then you have other experiences. Now let's look at within this first rectangle that I've just showed you, you will see at the top you have your your profile picture very critical if you see if you look at my profile picture it's very visible somebody will be able to see my face it's very important that somebody is able to see your face it has my name it shows my location and my local time right but then also this section of the profile the most important it shows your repetition so as you can see here i am a top rated plus so you can see it tells you what kind of repetition I have on the platform. The next thing is it tells you my job success. So as you can see there, the percentage of this freelancer's jobs that resulted in a great client experience, right? This is a 100% job success. Then if you move on to the next part, this is the heading. This heading is very, very important, guys. So now you can see uh, my heading says product manager, project manager, and then Agile Team Lead. Now I have used some keywords. Agile, the word Agile Team Lead. Agile Leadership. So Upwork has like um, tags that they use to associate your profile to certain jobs. So when a client posts a job on the platform, there are certain tags that the clients um, add to that job, to that job description or skill set. Then if you meet those keywords, 
then you they will be able to show you that job and then you'll be part of those people that they will even suggest to the client yeah so here you can see agile leadership is part of this my profile so it's a keyword um products manager is a keyword as well and you have project manager so i have very few keywords here this summary is what the client sees you can see up here I am very specific about who I am on the platform. I said I am an Upwork top rated plus freelancer. I have served as a team lead. These are keywords, team lead, right? I also use the word portfolio. These are all keywords. I've used some keywords on, the, on, the, on my profile so that um, Upwork can associate me to jobs that people are posting that have these keywords. This is really important. When creating your profile, you have to list some keywords that you want to be that you want to add to your profile so that when a job is posted, Upwork can associate you to those jobs. I went ahead and said I have earned a proven track record of success. So what I did was to basically provide some um, feedback that I've received from clients. As you can see at the bottom here, you will see some feedback that I've received from my multiple clients that I've worked with. So this feedback, some of them, I just chose a couple of them. I put them because I want the clients when they are reading my profile, they know that I'm not, I'm not a newbie on the platform. I'm, I'm, I'm very experienced on the platform. So if you can see the profile is structured in a certain way, the first is just a summary statement. The second is I pointed out the key client that I've worked with. The third part, I mentioned my expertise. Now you can see I have expert level skills in product management. The reason for this is I've worked as a product manager for over um, six years, going to seven years. So I have expert knowledge in develop in, in, in working as a product manager. So then also I pointed out specific knowledge areas that I am knowledgeable in. So the client will not expect something that is outside of my domain. I'm very specific here. And then I, here I made a specific statement about my personality, my work ethics. Then the next section is if the clients still have some doubts, maybe some clients still thinking, maybe they've seen some other profiles, they are having some doubt, they are thinking whether they should go with me or not. Then I told them why they should choose me, why they should choose me over other people that are on the platform. So I made this bold statement, as you can see. Now you can see that the profile is divided into certain sections and all of these sections are geared towards convincing the client that I'm the best person for their job if they want to invite me. So just by this profile, guys, I landed this particular job that I was talking about. I'm actually still working on that job, guys. Um, this job, I have made over $30,000 on this particular job and this guy just invited me just by looking at my profile he invited me i did not even attend any interview so your profile is your strongest weapon so you have to work on it to make sure it is perfect now some people don't make their profiles very long they make it very short but sharp so study different profiles to understand how to develop yours so basically this is my summary statement and then there is other sections you have these other sections we tell you about my history on the platform it tells you how many how much i have made on the platform and the number of hours i've covered the number of projects i've gotten now you have another section that have been added this tells you about your availability so you can pay a few connect per week to just for upwork to show that you are available that means if clients are looking for people that are available, they can easily invite you. I don't spend Connect on it right now because I don't feel like um, it's working for me. So, But you can also boost. This is a new feature where you can boost your profile. So you can use your profile as an, as an ad. So what this means is that let's say um, now I have my profile and I'm looking for a job. I'm looking for a job and I want clients to invite me. So when a client posts a job, on the platform i'll pop I'll, I'll pop up on their feed to see that i am uh, somebody who is um, eligible for that job then they can easily just invite me for the job then i can write a proposal then I'll, i can write a proposal then i'll get closer to the client basically so um what i mean by getting closer to the client is that if a client sends me an invite and then i apply i apply for that job 
basically i have like 50 percent chance to get that job because the client has already reviewed my profile and then they know that they already know that i am a good fit for the job so i just need to make my proposal really good all right so the other thing that you can see is you can do um a video introduction so what that means is you can make a video talk about yourself so that clients can see that you can articulate properly you have the confidence and all of those things you can post that video one minute video is enough to make sure that works for you that's a very good thing i have not done it but you can do it you have to verify english they also want to verify your identity and also you can input your educational background right it's very important some clients are very specific that i want somebody who has a degree or i want somebody who has a master's degree or something like that so you putting your education there is important but most clients don't really care about that what they care about is what you can deliver all right so now let's go to the next section of the profile now if you come down to um to this part you will see there is portfolio now your portfolio is past projects that you've worked on so let's say I am a product manager. I have managed projects before, so I have produced some products. So I can write about those products that I've worked on, what I did, how I collected requirements, and all of those things. So this should tie down, tied to your summary statement that I just talked about. The summary statement, what you've done, what expertise you have. Make sure it is concise, clear. I will make another video. If you want me to make another video for creating a professional portfolio, let me know so that I can do it for you, all right? Then the next thing is for you to see the skill sets. You have a couple of skill sets here that I've listed. These are skill sets that you can select when you are creating your profile. You can change them, you can edit them, you can massage them as you go. It is okay for you to come and make changes as you go, as you learn new things, you come and add to it. Then you have project catalog. I am not using these things, right? So project catalog is like, Let's say um, I have a particular skill set here that says um, product formulation. Let's say you have an idea and uh, you need somebody to guide you how to formulate, how to translate that idea into maybe a product requirement, right? I can create a project like that or maybe a consultation um, like that. And then I will post it to the um, Upwork platform. People will see it and then they can contact me then maybe for two or three hours, they can pay me to help them formulate their idea into a product, right? But I don't do it right now. But people, you can take advantage of those kind of things, those kind of features. Now, the next thing is testimonial. Testimonials are really important, guys. So testimonials are things that you can get from past clients. But if you are somebody who has been working outside of Upwork and you've worked with clients, the clients are very happy with you, you, you have to uh, make the request right here and then it will go to the person that's, um, that you, you want them to provide the testimonial for you. They can provide it. This is also a way to convince clients that you are somebody who is experienced, even if you are new to the platform, but you are somebody who is experienced, who has worked outside of the Upwork. There is also the certifications. So let's say for me, I'm a product manager. Maybe I've taken um, the Scrum Master certification. Maybe I've taken certain certifications. I can list them here and they help you a lot. There are certain clients who really value certifications because they believe that you having those certifications shows your knowledge shows that you've gone through certain trainings and you'll be able to do the job that they want to give you. So putting certifications there is really, really important if you have them. Also, your employment history. Let's say you've you've worked nine to five jobs before. You can list those, um, um, those nine to five jobs here. You put them, just make them concise and be precise about, about what you did. And also make sure they are aligned to what you, you are going to do on Upwork. But other experiences, for instance, for me, I am an entrepreneur. So I have built a product before, a physical product, launched the product, and I did a lot of other things. So I put that experience because some people want to know whether, um, whether you've done some other things that, are, that, are, that might be helpful to their project that they are working on. So this is how the profile is structured. Now, creating your profile, just to conclude, creating your profile on Upwork is not a one-day thing. It does not have to happen on the same day. You can do it bit by bit, all right? 
make sure you are prepared you can tweak it you can come back later they adjust it make sure you have it to the to the level where you you are confident that my profile actually identifies identifies with what I know how to do and with the kind of confidence that I have as an individual. And there are some clients, personally, I have seen it, wherein a client asks me a question right out of my profile, right? You mentioned this on your profile. Can you tell us more about it? And I had to answer that question straight off the bat because I know what is on my profile. So that is another thing. You have to know what is on your profile. Don't just go and write ambiguous things write things that you know you are able to do thank you very much for watching this video and if you watch up to this level i want you to smash that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that whenever i drop a new video you'll be the first person to see it i'll keep providing content like this i have gone through this particular profile video quickly but if you still have you still have some questions or you still have some things that you want to learn about your profile please don't hesitate to Drop me a comment. I'll be happy to help you out because I want you to be successful. Thank you. See you on the next one.